Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I study part three of the mathematical tripos at the University of Cambridge, which as I say in all of my videos is a fancy way of saying that I study a maths masters. So I filmed this video around three months ago, but because of the intensity of my course, I never really got around to editing these videos. So here I am three months later editing them over the summer. So my plan is to release a whole range of videos showing you what I was getting up to throughout my year on my masters and I'll be uploading them throughout the summer when I get chance to edit them. So this morning was a day where I was focusing on one module in particular, and that module was called Extrasolar Planets, Atmospheres and Interiors, which, as I've said in my previous videos, is the module I enjoyed the most this year. It's one that I found so interesting and so different from anything that I'd learned before, and I think that's why I enjoyed it so much. So that was the module I was focusing on today. So the first thing I did was grab some breakfast and just got my setup ready for the day. So the first thing I did was just go through some emails, check over some emails from my university email and my personal email as well, and then do a miraculous change of outfit and be ready to start the, my revision for the day. So I wanted to focus on past papers today and I read a few different studies explaining how you revise best and how you remember content best. And I read this study that explained that if your setup on your desk or wherever you're revising is similar to the environment you'll be taking your exam in, then you remember more in the exam, I believe the study said. So what I was doing here was just clearing my desk, this side of my desk, this half of my desk, all clear and just having things on my desk that I would have in the exam. So my iPad there was just used to have timers, so I didn't use it and I was just doing past papers purely from memory. So I didn't have any of my notes and it was like I was sitting exam conditions and I found it easier to do it at my desk in my room just because the environment was a little bit more similar to my exam room. So my college is Sydney Sussex College and they have been wonderful this year with everything that has gone on with my physical health. For those of you that know or have watched my channel before, you'll know I struggled with my physical health this year and my college were just wonderful. They were able to get me my own room with other candidates, but a smaller room. So I was able to sit my exams in college, which really helped with my exams this year. So for those of you that may have been at university the last couple of years, you'll know the transition from in-person exams to online exams and this year it was the transition from online exams to in-person exams again so that's something that I was a little bit worried about at Cambridge just having done most of my exams in fact half of my exams at my undergrad online and they were 24 48 hour exams I was a bit stressed about these exams because I hadn't done a three hour exam in about two years so I was kind of stressed about having to to sit down and, and work for that long of a time but Thanks to my college, I was able to sit my exams in college and that really, really helped. So this was the past paper I was doing called Extra Solar Planets. And as I've said in some of my other videos, it is the best module that I've taken this year and the lecturer for it is amazing. So I then packed up my bag and just fancied a bit of a change of scene. Something I found this year is that when I study in my room completely on my own, I end up burning myself out more so and that's because I don't take breaks as efficiently as I could and when I go to the MCR which is where I am at the moment this is Saeed and Jason who I'm sure you'll have seen in my other videos what I found was good about the MCR which stands for middle common room so for those of you that are unfamiliar that's basically the common room for postgraduates and it's where I spent a lot of my time this year and where a lot of my friends also spent their time now in my undergrad I was somebody that didn't really like to study with other people and what I've enjoyed this year is that I've studied with people who don't do the same subject as me. So my revision is different to theirs. And I think I quite like that because I can take my breaks when I need to. And for me, the breaks were more efficient than when I was just in my room because it would consist of a chat or playing foosball, which you can see in some of these videos, or just having a kick around with the football. And I think it took my mind off things. Whereas when I was in my room, I was just so intense with my revision that I suffered more from burnout. So that's something that I changed this year and it really, really helped. So this is just a video of me showing you an isolated planet. So this is a planet that has no source from it. So it's been flung away from its host star as it were. And this was something that I hadn't actually learned about in the module, 
but it was an exam question and I think it was just getting you to think on your feet of you know what happens if you have a planet that doesn't actually have its host star around it and what chemical equilibrium may look like or just the properties of a planet may look like so that was really really cool I was just researching into the effects of planets and, and how they're affected by whether the host star is there or not and then I took a bit of a walk around a wet and dreary Cambridge so as I say in all my videos this is my college and I film it in every video because I love it so much which as I say if you've watched in my other videos you'll know I adore my college and to say that I'm at home now I miss it so much. I uh, I desperately want to go back and do a PhD just because of how nice Sydney is and, and Cambridge is in general so here's my college on a wet and dreary day but I think it's so important to go out for walks and that's something that my friends have drilled into me this year which was something I didn't do so much last year particularly with Covid but generally just throughout my undergrad I never really took time for myself and I that's probably why I burnt out so much so my friends particularly Jason would take me for walks around Sydney Gardens so this is my college gardens which as I say if you've watched my other videos you'll recognize this view quite a lot because this is the classic walk that I did during my revision period. I think this is something that I enjoy so much about Cambridge is it reminds me of home and for me I live pretty much in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with lots of greenery around me and when I did study at home I would just walk in greenery, there's a wood not too far from me and I think that's why I enjoyed Cambridge so much in terms of the gardens because it did just feel like I was at home. So once I got back from the walk through Sydney Gardens I sat down and did some more work and Eleanor who is also a postgraduate student she joined and we had a good little revision session. I was just doing past papers. I kept my earphones in this time and I was just listening to I think it was white noise or brown noise or something some sort of noise just to try and get a little bit more focused. I go through phases of enjoying listening to music during revision and then other times not so much. I think it definitely depends on the mood my brain is in. Sometimes I can't stand to listen to music, it distracts my brain too much and other times it's just what I need to get myself in a relaxed environment. So it massively depends for me. I then decided to show you what my friends were getting up to. So Eleanor does archaeology and she had an exam on the same day my exam started I believe. This is Saeed who does an MPhil in sociology. So all of my friends that are here in this video all do masters and then Jason who He's doing an MPhil in education. So after I showed you what my friends were getting up to, I then got back to doing some more past papers. Now it varies at part three, some modules that have been running because part three is a very well-known course and there are books that talk about part three and its reputation and it has been going for a long time. So for some of my exams, I had exam papers that went up until 2001. So I was able to do past papers from 2001 onwards. This module had I believe six or seven past papers available because it was a relatively new module so I think it started in 2015 maybe 2014 and I was just doing the past papers that were available and it was the module that I was able to do the past papers the quickest because it was the module I found the easiest out of all of my other exams. I would say that part three math is intense, <laughs> um, there's no question about that and it was definitely one of the modules that I found a little bit easier compared to the others. So once I'd done some more work, we headed out and I grabbed some food from Sainsbury's. This was what I planned to eat for my tea or dinner. And the main reason I got my tea or dinner at 11 o'clock in the morning was because I'm addicted to those coffees that you've just seen. Anyway, after I'd done that, we went to College Hall, which is where you can grab college food. And today, I believe it was a Paul Jackfruit burger which was really nice. I then headed back to my room to grab some notes and on the way I saw Anna and Alistair who are here. <laughs> and then when I got back to the MCR, I saw Janal and Sadipta who are both PhD students here at Sydney doing law and neuroscience. And then I went back and did some more work. So again, I was just doing past papers, just making sure that I had answered all of the questions in the three hours that were allocated for this exam. Rosie showed up who has an amazing Instagram, so make sure you go look at studying at Cambridge Instagram account. And then I got back to doing some more work. So as I say, I was trying to do the exam papers within the three hours, which is how long the exam papers were. 
And the way that it works at part three is you'll have around four questions and then you have to choose three of those questions, which was something that was quite new to me this year. I'd never done that at my undergrad. It was always you answer these questions and, and that's it. That's final. And it was something I was a bit stressed about this year because I was worried about how much time I'd spend choosing which questions I wanted to answer. But really, I actually really enjoyed the fact that I could choose and knowing if I wasn't so strong on a particular area, then I didn't have to choose it. So that's something that I enjoyed this year. The only downside is that you obviously have more questions to answer than in past papers. So you're essentially doing more than three hours work on a past paper. But either way, it's more practice, which was really good. Saeed then got my camera who basically any picture you see recently has been taken by Saeed because he is kind of this like he's become the group professional photographer now he's so good at taking photos and media and things so I gave him my camera to mess around with and he certainly did that and filmed me and <laughs> me doing my work um which I did feel a bit awkward about now I know why my friends get all awkward and I just shove the camera in their face <laughs> so I uh, I apologise to all my friends that, that I just film constantly. So here Saeed is messing around. This is the famous foosball table that I was talking about. And I'm so glad that we got that this year in the MCR. It's a new addition to the MCR this year. And it's been a good chance to, to let off some steam and just take a break from work. I think it's quite easy on YouTube to pretend that you're studying 24-7 and you're just working all the time, but realistically you need breaks and that's why I'm trying to be as honest as I am on this channel and just say, make sure you're taking your breaks because otherwise you'll burn out. So once I'd done the past papers, I then were checking them over with the lecture notes. Now one massive downside to part three maths is you may have all of these past papers, but they don't have mark schemes. You have no mark schemes, so you don't actually know what you're doing is correct unless it's a show that question. And even then, you don't actually know if the show that question, you've you've done it correctly. So that was something that is a bit frustrating about part three maths. It's almost as if they're trying to make it hard. I know that at undergrad, it was we had check sheets. We didn't have the full mark scheme. And the idea is that you then do the work yourself and try to get to the answer rather than just cheat and look at the mark scheme but I think that's something that would have really helped this year and then Heidi came to join and we grabbed dinner together I saved my dinner that I got earlier and left that for the day after because the food on a haul looked really really nice I believe it's arancini balls and Sydney do the best arancini balls I then got back and started looking at some of the questions that I was struggling with and I basically just annotated the past papers with which questions I found easy which questions I didn't understand and then providing the solution to those questions and that made things easier for when it came to checking over past papers just before the exam so I could see which questions I knew I was confident with and then which ones I may just need to quickly check over before the exam so this was all of the work that I got done today a lot a lot <laughs> I think I did three past papers today if not more and I had gone through them all and checked them all and basically just wrote up any queries that I had for my revision session the following week. I then headed back to my room, so here was the lovely sunshine from my room, and I'd done past papers for the day, so I thought when I got back after my dinner or tea, I would do some active recall. So this is a whiteboard that I bought, which I have I have got a lot of use out of it, I must admit. <laughs> it's something that I've always used a whiteboard, or a relatively small whiteboard, just to actively recall things. And it's something that I'm sure if you've watched my videos from the very beginning, it's something that I've always done and just like writing on whiteboards. Since I got my iPad, I found my iPad was a bit of a substitute for my whiteboard, but I quite enjoy just writing all of the stuff out on, on a whiteboard and then going through and marking it. So here I am just doing some active recall, trying to remember everything from the lecture notes for this specific exam. The sun then started to set. And I quite like the view from my room, which I'm sure you'll be shocked to know because I mention it in all of my videos. But what I quite like about my room is the sun starts to rise from one side of my room and then it sets at the other side. So I get the sun all day long, which is really nice. My room gets very hot in summer, especially when the heating is still on during March. Um, but that's something I quite liked about my room this year was just that I would always see the sunset. And I really, really like that. So here I am doing some more 
active recall and again this is just purely from my memory i was trying to remember everything i could from a specific page that i'd condensed in my lecture notes the time was then nine o'clock so i thought i would get ready for bed just get into bed and do a final bit of active recall I remember seeing a video that was saying that the things that you learn right before bed stay with you longer, so that's something that I'd been trying to do. The moon was out, and I'm sure a lot of you know I love astronomy and love any stars that are in the sky or the moon, so I was quite mesmerised by the how bright the moon was on this particular night. I then got into bed with my whiteboard, which was the smaller whiteboard that I generally used to use last year, and just did some more active recall again. I will be doing a video explaining why I changed my revision method this year, kind of what went well with it, what went bad, and just generally talking about how I revised for my exams, and again, what I would do differently. So if you're interested in that video, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. So then I got my whiteboard and my whiteboard pens and just finished off some active recall for the night. So this would have been finishing off what I was doing on the big whiteboard, and generally just checking over my knowledge for this particular module. But that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, I'll be releasing a whole range more videos over the summer and generally throughout my channel over the next coming years. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.